Batches are Sidekick's term for a collection of jobs which can be monitored as a group. You can create a set of jobs to execute in parallel and then execute a callback when all the jobs are finished. They're a useful building block for taking advantage of parallelism or building complex workflows. Let's play with them a bit. We've got a basic Rails application in place with Sidekick Pro setup, and I've created an upload model in this project with a CSV file in its body. We have an upload worker. It will find an upload by ID, create a new batch, parse the body of the upload, which is expected to be CSV, and then for each row in the CSV, it will create a new article worker job inside this batch. Let's look at article worker. It takes an upload ID and a row of parsed CSV data, and it will extract the data out of this row. This is tightly coupled to the format of the CSV file. It will create a new agent with mechanize. It will fetch the URL. It will extract that page's body. And then it will create an article record in our database with the title specified in the CSV file, the URL specified in the CSV file, and the body of the page that was fetched. Because we're building a batch of these article workers, each URL will be processed as its own job, and as many of the rows as can succeed will. We'll also be able to see if the entire batch completed. This is a way to get easy, massive parallelism from Sidekick, while still knowing if all of the work in a given batch completed successfully. For what it's worth, you can also add jobs to a running batch dynamically. This might be useful if you were building, for example, a website spider, but we don't need it for this. I just wanted to mention it. We'll start a batch on our existing upload. We'll start the Rails web server so that we can see the Sidekick web UI. We'll click the Batches tab. And there are no batches yet because the job needs to run first before it creates the batch, since that's what creates the batch. So we'll start the sidekick worker, and we'll refresh, and we see a batch created. Two-thirds of it was successful, and a third of it failed. So it ran fairly quickly. I was hoping we could catch it while it was working. So we can see the one that failed. There was a socket error. It failed to open TCP connection to nope, 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 port 80, because that's not a known name or service. So that's because there's a bad URL in the file. We'll fix that and we'll create a new upload. And we'll import it. And before I do that, I'm going to click on the batches tab here because I'm going to try to catch it while it's running. There we go. So we can see it running. If I refresh though, it's gone. And that's because it completed successfully. And that's important to note. Once a batch has completed successfully, it's deleted immediately. So we can take this fail job, though, and we can look at the API for reviewing its status. So we'll get the batch ID. We'll get a status for it. We can look at the total number of jobs in the batch. We can look at the failures. We can look at the job count that's pending. We can find out when it was created. We can see whether or not it's complete. You can call join, which will actually block until the batch is considered complete. You can find out failure info. And you can get data about the batch. OK, so that's a quick overview of the API available for batches, and a look at the web UI. We have a completed Boolean on our upload model. We'd like to update that when the batch completes successfully, but leave it false if it fails. To do this, we can make use of Sidekick's callbacks. Let's modify the upload worker. We'll add this line here. It has to come before you define the batch's jobs. This will run a given method called onSuccess with the provided arguments. We'll run the upload workers onSuccess method. And we'll provide the upload ID. Oops, and I need to spell success correctly. OK, so that's all we have to do to trigger a callback. And now we can make an onSuccess method. It'll be sent the status and then the arguments you provided, where status is the same thing we just saw in the API. So we can find the upload, and we'll set it to completed. OK, we'll restart Sidekick so it picks up the changes. And now we'll make a new upload and import it. We'll call import. Right now we can look at the upload status, or completed. And it'll be false because it hasn't refreshed from the back end. So if the, si oh, the sidekick hasn't run yet, yes it has. If the sidekick worker completed, then we can reload. And then we can see that it's been marked completed. So our callback ran. So that's it for now. To recap, we learned how to create a batch of jobs that run in parallel and then have Sidekick Pro run a callback when all the jobs are done. I think you'll find this really useful as you process more jobs and more complex job workflows. See you soon.